y'all, and welcome to another episode of Tyler's, I don't know really what to call this, um, it was just like a question video and somewhat of an update, okay, um, I just went to Rainbow Gardens earlier, about two hours ago, and it's about 8.30 now, so, um, that helps, but, by the way, uh, and I bought this Yacone plant, uh, Yacone, it's kind of like a, potato, it's a tuber, so it kind of grows, it has a crown, and it sends out these roots, and they build these storage roots, which are edible, you can eat them, they're kind of sweet, uh, you can cook them up and, or dehydrate them and make like potato chips, or you can also eat the leaves, I just ate them earlier in a salad, so, and that was kind of good, they have a taste of like a normal, like leafy green, so, know how to describe it, it just seems normal. So, uh, by the way though, we've got it from, where is it again, Rainbow Buggies, and it was $13. I just thought I'd share that, it's kind of cool, somewhat rare, in my opinion. Uh, they don't really sell them at, like, Home Depot or Lowe's. They don't really ever have them at no burgers. I've seen them once there, but that was just because they're having, like, a weird rare fruit tree sale, but, uh, this is cool, it's growing good, um, I'm hoping to grow it as a perennial, it will die back, and then you can harvest the storage roots, uh, and then grow it again next year, so, I was hoping to do that, and you just kind of show me all that, and saying, um, there were only, like, three left in the stock, so, we get over there pretty quick and buy some. Next thing we got is some cucumbers that I got a couple of questions about for y'all who have grown cucumbers before. Okay, uh, cucumbers. I had a whole bunch of market moors growing and some, I forgot what are they called, Armenian growing. The Armenians, I found out though, are extremely prone to powdery mildew, even if there's just barely an amount. So, they all died back, as you can see, kind of down there and going up. There's one little one left down there. Um, but what my main question was is... Here, let me find one. Okay, I I did start uh, lemon cucumber seeds, uh, but I don't remember any of them making it. Uh, I started them in my greenhouse and then transplanted out here. And I thought they all died back in the greenhouse, but I'm not too sure. Uh... I thought that this was a normal market moor that had just got like blossom, blossom end rot because it was so hot out, um, but I'm starting to second guess myself, <clears throat> no, sorry, uh, you come down here and where is one? Oh, back there, it's starting to get this little lemon cucumber look, <clears throat> yeah, sorry y'all, I'm sick, uh, we get over here. And I have this one back here that looks just, sorry, there's a leaf in the way, uh, but now there's another leaf in the way. Uh, you get these, and I mean, the bottom kind of looks like that, so I was thinking it was still blossom and rot, but it's turning yellow, and it's got these, like, spines all over it. You can kind of pick them up in the video, but I'm not too sure what that is, so... Uh, can y'all comment if you've grown cucumbers and you actually, like, know whether this is a market more or a, le uh, a lemon cucumber? This is my first time growing them, so I truly have no clue. Um, so yeah. And then, next thing is, just wanted to show and have a question about, I started some grass over here. Let's give you a look. Um, there's actually none right there. Uh, here, let's look. Sorry about kind of having this right at the ground. Okay, I set my cone on top of it. I started some Bermuda grass over here in, I think it was like two weeks ago. I just spread it right on top and laid some dead grass clippings on top of it, and it's starting to come up. So I was wondering, in the heat of the summer, I mean, today's high was about 90 out. Do you think it'll make it out here if I just water it every day, or should I spread more grass clippings on top of it? Uh, or like, what should I do um, to get it to grow? Because this area, whenever it rains, is solid mud, and I end up sliding, 
and I mean it's fun for the first sorry y'all my iPad cut out and my phone call I had a phone call so yeah either way um so I was wondering uh would it work if I spread like wildflower seeds out here because I've really been wanting to grow wildflowers just for being able to attract the beneficials and pollinators so I'm not too sure though if that's right time now or if this I have to dig those in or what to do or should I wait until there's grass growing I just don't know so um just wondering about that I have a big pack of like blue bonnet seeds and Texas paintbrush and Indian blankets or yeah and that kind of flowers so I was just gonna spread them down here and wasn't too sure if that would work or not so uh, if y'all want to you can comment in the comment box below about whether or not that would be good um, not too sure what that question was but oh well either way um, yeah so y'all thank you for watching this video um, if y'all know the answers to any of the questions I asked in this video please I'm not too sure if I'm in the screen please comment below in the comments box and like and subscribe I think this was a good video thank you and have a good day